I want to have you consider a scenario in which we have four directions that are the outline of some figure on the ground. And this goes from point J to K to L to M that you can see labeled here, right? There's J, K, L, and M. We really don't care about the distances in this case, but we have azimuths that are proceeding clockwise around this figure. You can see we're going from J to K with an azimuth of 50, from K to L with an azimuth of 110, from L to M with an azimuth of 200, and from M to J with an azimuth of 300. Well, it's not uncommon to need to find the interior angles in a figure like this. So, we, when I talk about the interior angles, I'm talking about the interior angles at the vertices of this figure. These are those four angles that we may want to come up with. So I want to help you understand something by talking about the hands of a clock. So let's consider here what we get when we look at an analog clock. In the middle of the clock, we have the pivot point for the two hands, assuming it's just an hour hand and a minute hand. And the hands point away from the center of the clock, right? As time advances, the hands move in the clockwise direction. We consider that uh, a positive operation. That is, time is adding up, right? If we ran it backwards, it would be a negative operation. We would be subtracting time. Thus, if this is just my hour hand here, and I am advancing with my hour hand from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock, well, three hours have elapsed as that moved from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Likewise, if I had to find out how long ago was 1 o'clock, when it's 4 o'clock now, 4 minus 1 is going to give me 3. Well, consider that if I am trying to find find the, dire the difference in direction at, at uh, point J, let me just redraw this for you. I want to, instead of thinking of a clock right now, we're going to kind of convert our clock into our uh, cardinal directions. So here I have my line coming in from K. And here is my line coming in from M. So M's down here, K's up here, J is here. I know this direction is 50, right? And that is going away from the center, just like I, by the hands of the clock point away from the center of the center of the clock. But this direction going from M to J is pointing toward the center of the clock, or center of my axis pair, right? So instead of leaving that at 300, I need to convert it so if this is the hand of a clock, it's pointing away. So... What am I going to do? I want it to point away. Well, I'm going to get the back azimuth. So I'm simply going to subtract 180 degrees. And that's going to give me, what, 120? That makes this azimuth 120 right there. Okay, well, now both of the hands of my clock point away from the center of the clock. So I really want to know what is this angle from 120 back to 50? I think you can see that's 120 minus 50 is going to give us what? 70 degrees. Okay. All based on the idea of hands of a clock. Well, let's consider a different one. In fact, let's think about this one at M. This one a, takes a little more thought, but I want you to see how that works. 
Okay, let me draw another system for you down here. So at M, we've got point L up there. Point L is up here. And what point J is going to be over here? Now, here, going from M to J, what do we have? We know that to be 300 degrees. But L is expressed going, f or LM is expressed going toward M, isn't it? So, let's apply our hands to the clock rule. The center of my clock is here, but I need line ML expressed going from M to L. So what am I going to do? I'm going to find the back azimuth of LM. And I'm going to do that by taking 200 minus 180, and that gives me 20. Okay, so that's what that angle is right there, isn't it? Between north and ML is 20 degrees. Okay, so let's think about this. What's this angle? If you know this is also 360 up here at north, well, then this has to be 60 down to there. So 60, in this case, 60 degrees plus 20 degrees is going to be 80 degrees, isn't it? So these are some fairly simple applications to help you understand that even though these directions are all expressed in this counterclockwise direction as a group, we can still find out what the difference in direction is because we're going to treat it like hands of the clock. One of the directions goes away. We have to make the other one go away from the center of the clock just like uh, just like the other one.